Wow. Yeah, what it is, what's going on, what's happening, what's going on, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today, hope everybody, each and, each and every one of y'all, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, today, man. A lot of people, ask, wait, now I ain't gonna say a lot of people. Let me not start the capping early in the video. 36 seconds in the video. Let me stop now. Let me not count. You feel me? A couple of people told me to go ahead and um, drop the uh, Jordan 7 sitting in the mall video. So that's what we're here for. We know the Jordan 7 Chambray's did not sell out. And an uh, overwhelmingly amount of people, probably 85% of the people in the comments of my own feet video said that they like them, they just waiting on them to go on sale. They were like, $200, and eh, I know they gonna sit, I know they gonna go on sale, which I agree with, but it's a shoe that I wanted, so I love Jordan 7, so shoes like that, stuff like that, man, I gotta get, well, number one, I'm getting it because I wanna review the shoe, but I gotta get it because I just, I'm a Jordan 7 head, y'all know that, I love Jordan 7, and plus, the shoe ain't dropped since 2006, I just, I just had to get it in hand, man, you know what I'm saying, so, I, did, I didn't pay nothing extra for it. I paid pretty much retail for the shoe. And I got it like a month early. So, you know what I'm saying? But we finna go in the mall. I'm pretty sure every store in here got the shoe sitting. Maybe not Foot Locker and Champs because they be getting stuff in late. But they might have them. They might not. JD Sports, they done had that shoe for like two months, two, three months already. They I talked to them. They had it back in the stock room forever ago. So, um, and the manager told me that their first shipment was super ashy. And then the last shipment they got, they all look better. So I don't, I don't know how that go. I just know it's a really good thick grade of a uh, uh, new buck suede or whatever they used on the shoe. It's, it's a nice uh, material. But other than that, I'm gonna show y'all shoes I got on feet in a minute. But I was finna drop, I was finna rock some uh, flu games. Woof. Boot game 12s. You feel me? I love flu game 12s. But that is a winter shoe. It is a disrespectful 93 degrees. Shouting. It's a disrespect for 93 degrees out here. In Atlanta, you from the south, you know our heat is muggy. Vegas, Cali, yeah, it be hot over there too. But y'all got dry heat. Our junk is it's sweltering. Like we might not get over a hundred. We're gonna get 95, 96, but it's gonna be real humid with it. So on I, I I looked at them um I looked at them boots, man. I mean them, them flu game twelves. I was like, bro, my feet gonna be sweating, sweating like hell, man. I'm not finna put these boots. Put them right back in the uh sneaker case and I put these on, which ain't that much better. So anyway, with that being said, let's see what we got on feet, man. And go and check out the mall. Do it. On feet. See when I stand up, I'm gonna do a mad dash in the mall, bro. So uh, I ain't wanna stand up and do the on feet. <laughs> but then we do what we doing today, man. Got my Gatorade towel, bro. Wipe the sweat off. Um anyway. Do what we doing, Shadow? Air Jordan 3 with that Nike L on that ass. Don't forget. Don't forget. Underrated shoe. This was like right before uh the pandemic hit when these dropped All-Star Weekend. And um this shoe don't get it don't get what it deserves in my opinion, man. They're all red with Nike L on the back, Jordan 3, man. You they don't get talked about enough, Shadow. You feel me? But um, I'm definitely gonna rock them. Whew, fire. That's a ball me. 93 degrees out here, but guide is good all the time. You feel me? They're going to the mall to see what they got going zone. If you're ever in Atlanta, shawty, and you go to Stone Crab Mall, man, you ain't gonna get probably about 100 feet in the mall without somebody trying to sell you something, shawty. Dude told me he had wristbands. I'm like, wristbands to what? I ain't even asked that question, honestly. I just said, I'm good, my boy. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But you come here, they try to sell you. Belts, watches, jewelry. They try to do the little, the little game when they got the little bottle caps and stuff to win money. Just scammers on scammers on scammers on scammers. Tell me Atlanta ain't the home of the scammer. Anybody that lives in Atlanta and know about these scammers, man, comment below, boy. Home of the scammer, AT, <laughs> yeah, what you talking about? In the video with Snipes, this time I'm gonna start with Snipes. Now, I don't know if they did this on purpose or not, but they don't have the, they usually have the new releases in the display outside the door. So I'm pretty sure they in here though, shot. If they got them in, they got the shipment in, they got the shoe, you feel me? And just like I said, they do have them. First store got them. I'm pretty sure every store gonna have them. The Air Jordan 7, 
<laughs> uh, uh, share and brace, y'all. They lace them up. You know what I'm saying? Now, comment below. Like, when they do shoes like this and Jordan 1s and stuff like that, when they do the display, should they lace them up or should they leave them factory lace like the shoe come, bro? Some, somebody pointed out on my review video that I did, sure, was the fact that the uh, seven tongue is back higher than the collar again. And when I looked at, when I read, when I was editing my own feet, I was looking at the fact that it was higher. I was like, bro, that is what make the shape look a whole lot better. Just the tongue being higher than the collar. It looks stupid when the tongue is shorter than the collar. And every seven we got for the past 10 years, the tongue has been shorter than the collar. But if you look at back at the OGs from the 90s, the tongue was higher than the collar. Just that small detail make that shoe look somewhat better. So um, anyway, like a lot of y'all, like I said, y'all was waiting on the sale. What y'all doing, man? Is y'all still waiting on the sale or you're copping or what? Jason Kidd's on deck. LeBron's on deck, trainers on deck, Air Maxes, you feel me? You can't beat these 50 50% 50 off sales, but the retail is 150 for these, and why? I thought retail for Presto was like 120 or something. What make this one special? Is it a like, somebody told me this is like a Halloween, but it don't look Halloween. Yeah, there you go, the spider right there, it is Halloween, so. But 50% off ain't enough. I need to get these for the same price I got them other ones, that 59.99 uh, drill, you feel me? One thing I was talking to my wife about Prestos, like when I do shoot sneaker sales and stuff, I was like, bro, every time I buy a Presto, I got a plan to keep it and hold on to it because that's one shoe, even if I let it go for retail, that nobody's going to buy. So I got to make sure that when I buy those, it's firm. I got to hold on to the whole. So I heard some people saying how good the black was on these, but honestly, the um, the sevens got better materials than these. This, if you look at this material close up, it's all right, but it's a whole lot cheaper looking in the sevens. That's just a, that's a thicker, better, more durable material. This ain't bad either, but this is kind of what we've been getting. This was on the, this material right here is what's on the uh, playoff eights that's dropping this year, bro. But what these is, Shotty? What these is, Jordan Brand, boy. So this basically the hang tag right here on the tongue, Shotty. Then you got this inspired by greatness design for flight, boy. You can stay on the ground with these here. You talking about with that net on the fish net on the side? No, straight jacket Jordan one. Is that you talking about? Well, of course, like I said, sevens they gonna sit, man. Regardless of what colorway, I'm thinking the OG colorway is gonna sit too. Y'all comment below if y'all agree with that or not. I think OG colorways are Jordan sevens. If they drop them, they gonna sit too. Bro, this shoe remind me. This blazer remind me of a um a Sakai. This like Nike just pulled the Sakai uh, drip. $115 and then they throw it on these blazers right here. I'm good though. They got a bunch of blazers. I ain't seen them in the blazers sitting in the store in a long ass time. They got a collect. Is people buying blazers like that? Let me know. So if I'm not mistaken, it's 50% off. Go for this uh, ATL 404 shirt, which is all right. It's, this, these tags are a little thick. I don't know. That's a little flea marketish to me. But the shorts though, the short drill, what's the regular price? $80. So that means these 40? If these four of them copy, could they go with my uh, Bo Jackson? I just need a, uh, they 50% off? So they is 50% off. So I'm gonna get the extra large right here. I don't know, they look a little short though, man. Let me see, what if they got a two edge? They got a two edge, that might be in there. I don't know. They be crying right here. But these hard, but he got my uh, Atlanta Bo Jacksons, man. And my Atlanta uh, Stompers, the uh, Air Up Tempo. I'm finna see if I can fit these. Let me give y'all a quick crash course on the YouTube, sneaker YouTube algorithm. If I post a thumbnail, and I'm just letting y'all know from experience, I post a lot of videos, so I know this to be true. If I post a thumbnail showing the um, Jordan 7 chambray in my hand, like this right here to y'all, if I, if I post that on a thumbnail, it's gonna get half of the views that it would get than if I post the thumbnail holding this bag up, shout it. And it ain't even shoes, it's just, it's, it's some shorts, bro. I did get the Atlanta short, by the way, they dope. They gonna drip with a couple pair of my sneakers, you know what I'm saying, ATL vibes, you feel me? Four, four, shout it. But um, if I post a thumbnail holding the shoe and y'all see the shoe and you know what the shoe is, that means you already know what the context of the video is. You know what I'm gonna talk about in the video and you know what the shoe is. But if I post this bag and y'all don't know what's going on in the video, you have no idea what's in the bag, Rich, the algorithm is gonna pick that up more than it will pick up me just holding a shoe that y'all already know dropped that y'all already in the scene. It's crazy that it worked like that, but I, everything I do is a method to my madness, you feel me? The crazy thing about what I said about the algorithms is um, 
back like in 2016, 17, 18, them three years right there, which was my best years on YouTube. I was averaging like between 80 and 100 some thousand, especially if I put my son in the video. Back in those days, bro, like when I showed it, I, it, was, it was good to show the shoe in the thumbnail. <laughs> it's crazy because I look at some other people's channels and they, they successful doing what I used to do, but they couldn't do just hold a bag up and you don't know what, you know what I'm saying? So it's the algorithm, when I tell you the algorithm is like, what you call that little puzzle, the little cube, Rubik's cube. The algorithm is trying to figure out the algorithm for a Rubik's cube because it's different for everybody channel, man. Y'all probably don't even care about this type of stuff, but just thought I'd give y'all a little, little lesson on that, you feel me? So these, these dunks dropped not too long ago. Um, it's kind of like a split. I have no idea what the everything split in half though, so I'm sure it's some kind of thing to it. Even the swoosh start off with gray, going to the black, Chicago kind of color blocking. They regular, you know what I'm saying? Split on the bottom too. So what y'all doing with them? They got these two, which I showed last time. You never seen any black whites, right? Huh? Look like my size, shorty. Now it's ten and a half. That means they just a little long. But yeah, <laughs> it's not a twelve. Y'all tell me like with these, like if this just had SB on it, would these would these go crazy or is just did the donks just they just they just uh pretty much slowing down like cause Jordan ones had a really long run, but these donks they just be like trendy for the moment and then they'll go right back out of style like off and on like a switch. You feel me? Uh, let me know what y'all thinking. So by far uh snipes and DTLR got them. DTLR got still got Cardinals though. Cardinals, infrareds. Oh, they disrespecting my seven. These things sitting up here like they some true flight for real the way they sit, bro. But it's all good, man, because my love for sevens don't always be there. The one thing about trends, bro, like I don't give a damn about no trend, bro. I've always been a Jordan 7 fan, man, ever since I got my first pair in 1992, the Bordeaux 7, bro. Uh, but I noticed, like I say, they've been doing the higher tone. They even did it on these uh, Cardinals. So love the new the, the shape they going with and i'm i miss with the um with the high tone like i said this is real close to the og now they need to release the rest of the ogs with this same shape especially the raptors that's what i need you know what i'm saying and i need that gray and black looking uh raptor seven them playoff sevens them them shrug game seven guy you feel me now if foot locker got them that means everybody got pairs in ain't nothing on delay and yes in fact they do have them Chambray Jordan 7s on deck. I think the most crazy thing that always get me when shoes like this drop is how many people, just like the Citrus 7, is how many people said they were waiting on these to come back, bro. Yeah, but how many people say they they was like looking forward to these coming back and dropping and stuff like that? And then when they come out and they $200, they're like, nah, Doc, let me get that sale, Junior. But uh, I feel you, though. You know what I'm saying? Even with the amount of people that said they was waiting for these to come back, it was no more, nowhere near the amount of pairs they probably dropped. So, um, honestly, I'm not trying to double up on nothing, but the old Mike Reese would have definitely yeah. probably got two pairs of these, especially if I would have caught these on sale, on sale later on down the line. But other than that, boy, nothings. Nothings, Slim Pickens, McGlickens, Stein. Hey, you saying? Let's get up out of here. All right, shout out. The moment of truth is here. We're going to come up on Champ Sports. The moment of truth because champs don't get nothing. So champs fail the test. <laughs> champs fail the test. Champs like the only one in the mall that ain't got them shot. Like they finna close this place down because I need to know. I need to know. Cause where I get my black t-shirt from. I need to know. So it's a no-go on champs. I actually expect the champ to have this one. I expect the champs to have this one, bruh. Cause every other store in the mall got that shoe. Stonecrest Mall champs. Hey man, they need, they need, they need, they on life support, but they need to be resuscitated. What are you talking about? Roger, I never realized it's a finish line back here, right there. You see my finger pointing at? In um, Macy's, they got a finish line in there. I ain't never really even know that was right though. I check them out one day, not today. Today's not that day. So me and my wife are going to uh, DR in a couple of weeks, bro. And. I need some, I just need some shorts, bro. I use, I, what I do is I usually go shopping before I go out of town. When you're going on a, a beach vacation or some kind of Caribbean vacation, you ain't wearing nothing but shorts, slides. I rock the hell out of some fresh stoles while I'm down there. I don't never really rock no, just try to get fresh, white t-shirts, stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to just give me a couple pair of shorts and that's it. You know, nothing too drippy. 
to uh, be going and standing on the beach and jumping in the pool all day. JD Sports. Here what it is. We got them uh, like crazy in JD Sports. And then we got these dunks again. Then we got these dunks, which are pretty cool. These look like, uh, it might not look like it on the um, video, but it's like a Tiffany green. It looked like a UNC blue on this camera, but it's a Tiffany green, bro, and white. So these ain't bad. Y'all know there's the Air Jordan 1 low. I probably leaving with it. You feel me? Legacy nothings. Hey, you talking about? They even got those. They even got the goddamn fire red. Hey, you talking about? Yeah, man. So back at the crib, like I thought before I even started the video, the Air Jordan Seven Chambray is sitting everywhere. Not a surprise to me. I'm not mad at all. I think it's a good thing. Um, a lot of people who want to go ahead and just walk in the mall way after the drop and get the shoe, you can do that, or you can wait for the shoe to go on sale. You know what I'm saying? Now, me being a size 12, usually those bigger sizes go first, 11s, 12, 13s, those sizes sell out. So I think those are good sizes to cop for retail. Um, a lot of people might have people, friends that they have swoosh accounts with Nike and they can get like almost half off of the shoe. I should have thought about that before, but at the same time, I wanted to bring the shoe early and give y'all an early review on the sneaker. You know what I'm saying? So I, I pay the retail price just so I can get the uh, early review up. You know what I'm saying? But I did, as y'all saw in the video, I did cop the shorts, man. These are fire, bro. I couldn't really pass these up, man, because being from Atlanta and having this Atlanta drip, the 404 with the peach, um, the Atlanta on this side right here. And it's, um, I mean, by the look of the Atlanta, it's the Atlanta Braves. And then also, you have the 1995 World Series, which they always put that on now. They don't ever put the 2021 World Series, but that's fine because a champion is a champion, bro. This is made by Pro Standard. It's a, uh officially licensed um, MLB uh, situation. Got the Atlanta, the A for the Atlanta Braves in there on the uh, tag, you know. Uh, MLB licensing and just in case the people are new here or didn't know what shoes I was talking about in the video that gonna match up dope with these right here we have the the SC trainer high Bojack aka Bo Jackson guys right here with the um, peach vibes you got your peach right here on the tongue so you got the peach vibes Georgia peach that's our our state um, Fruit or symbol or whatever the hell it is. It's, it's a peach. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the peach vibes with the fall four going on. Same. Both of them got the green vibes going crazy. It's actually a really, really perfect match. Match up with the shoes, bro. And then, like I said, with these shoes, like I said, perfect match up. And then I also have the, and y'all know I hate this silhouette, but I did have to get this shoe. And this was the Atlanta, um... Up Air, Air Max or Air Up Tempos. Also got the 404 on the back of the shoe right here. The Atlanta area code guy. 404 on these. And the other shoe has a peach. If I'm not mistaken, I think the other shoe got a peach on these too. Um uh the peach, yeah, and this one got a peach on the back of it. So there go that peach again. You know what I'm saying? Both but and it's crazy because most people probably won't buy these because if you look on the outside looking in, this hard to drip. What you gonna drip this with? But if you got these shoes I got, it's perfect. I forgot about the A, the Atlanta Braves A on that side right there as well. Atlanta, fall forward a peach and then Atlanta right there. And then you got your World Series stamp right there. So it goes perfectly with these right here. And it also goes perfectly with the Bo Jackson. What I did with them. Perfect. Perfect, perfect matches, perfect matches with these shoes, man. Um, and they also, if you really want to drip it, they got those peach colored Adidas forms with a really good suede on them. They almost match these shorts too perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, when I, but when I bought these, bro, I was like, are they going to be a little short? I haven't tried them on yet. So hopefully they don't come that far above my knees. It'll be a little weird. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below what you think about my cop. I paid, um, half off. It was half off. $80 was the full price and I paid 40 bucks. So, I mean, for a dope pair of shorts for the summertime, can't beat it. So anyway, y'all comment below what y'all think about the um, seven sitting, y'all copying, y'all waiting, whatever. 
And comment below think, uh, what you think about my pickup, all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. On them. And as you say it, and keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Go on. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kids, I mean, my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah, my rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. It gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon.